and uh, other pieces of furniture that you can sell for a lot more than the wood is worth. Alright, so we're going up to the mines. I call them mines. It's the abandoned ruins is what the game calls them. We're used to playing Star Valley. Yeah. So, when you go up to the mines, you have to unlock these. Um, there's abandoned ruins 1 and abandoned ruins 2. They're essentially the same thing, except they have different types of ores in them. Uh, you have to pay for a weekly pass. It is worth it if you're going to use it. I mean, this is the only way to get most of the stuff in the game that you need to craft all of the materials that you need. So, when you're in here, it is randomly generated. You will always start on a platform like this, and you come out into a randomly generated cavern. Um, differently colored ground is different types of material, so like this is iron. Um, there's also probably some uh, oh, bronze and things like that in here. Not bronze, copper, things like that. So here's a hole I dug earlier. Uh, it does save your dungeon unless you intentionally reset it, which you can do next to the dungeon. There's a little panel. Uh, the reason I kept this one, though, is because it goes into the bowels of the earth. And I want to show you guys a trick that is very helpful for mining. It's also actually a glitch. <laughs> yeah, it's a glitch. It's a glitch trick. So, what you want to do is kind of mine in a level line. And then if you sort of hit low, so it dips like that, you can usually wedge yourself in towards the top. So as you can see, I'm sort of floating and I'm sort of near the top. What you want is for your head to be near what you what I'd call the ceiling of the tunnel because when you turn on your detectovision to try to find stuff if you are positioned correctly which I am not I will hit again and try to position better uh, ah, there we go so if you're positioned correctly and your head is close enough to the wall you can see through space so this shows you everything that is solid in here is like a ruin or the main cavern. So that's where we started. We're up there. You can see what the treasures are before you get to them. This is a glitch. It's probably going to be patched out. But until it is, this is a really easy way to find everything that you want down here because otherwise you're just kind of randomly smacking walls and hoping for the best. So. Uh, you can see that those are random drop chests. There's a piece of a relic or an engine over there. Uh, there's an engine over there. Bucket. And then if you look on here, I can't really show you, but basically in front of my eyes, there's two orange tubes. So if you look at those orange tubes, those are the hidden rooms. And we're looking, looking online for guides on this, and there's not really a lot of information. People seem to think it's like rumored or extremely rare, but there's always at least two or three of these in each dungeon. They're usually placed near big clusters of crap like that. So when you go mining over there, you'll see like a big wall of junk, and then the two tubes will be buried somewhere in the dirt. Now, if you look over here, we're near one of those big piles of crap, and it's hard to tell, but there is a tube in front of us. So that's what we're heading towards. And so get out of the zoom mode and start heading this way. Oh, good. The thinking can was viewed by May because we put it in the museum. And, did, and now did she likes keep, us more. He keeps giving you points, is yep. that? Yep. Oh, cool. What was what, that? What is that? <laughs> what? Oh, that's new. Okay, cool. Well, we just beat through a wall of some kind. Mm -hmm. um, we're Did getting give you close. Something? So here's what we're looking for. Those okay. orange tubes we showed you show up as purple lights when you are in the zoom mode. Yellow lights are treasures. Purplish, pale purple lights are secret rooms. When you're close enough, usually within about 15 meters, you'll be able to find these. So when you're looking for them, Aim in that general direction when you think you're close. Turn on your magnifiers and find the purple purple dot. And as you can see, here we are. 
So there's the secret room, it's up in this tube, and then down here is some of that ruin. We don't need the ruin, but if you look, it says abandoned room. We're gonna enter it. Inside the abandoned room, we've got some slow gooeys. We have never found anything else in these abandoned rooms. These things are just cake to kill. Takes no effort. They barely fight back. They kind of shoot stuff up in the air that can affect you, but for a second. And then there's random treasure chests. Open them up. You don't know what's in them until you open them. We got a golden toad. That's not bad. Kind of valuable. And a stuffed bear. Good gift. Oh, cute. So, yeah, we can give those out. That's one of the, the rare gift things that you can give to do Molly, something. Um, oh. Um. Oh, it's just one of these. Never mind. No, uh, I think those uh, can give to Molly because she likes them. But oh, she's okay. a kid, so who cares? Yeah, who cares? Kids suck. So, um, this this is it. This is the entire abandoned room. It is Shit. one main room <laughs> with a couple little halls sticking off of it. There are a few different ones, but it's kind of the same concept. All, yeah, there are variations on this theme of one or two rooms with some slimes in it. And then the random treasure chests can give you good stuff. Overall, I wouldn't fret about secret rooms. I've never found anything to make them like the most worthwhile endeavor. It's so, still kind of cool to find it. Them. It's cool, yeah. I, and given that people don't really seem to know how to get into them, it's sort of weird. So that was one of the secret rooms. Uh, I think there was another one over here, so if we're lucky, we, maybe we have another stamina. Oh yeah, when you're done with it, it kicks you out and back into the world, so we gotta go find our hole again. And we're doing it in the most inefficient way possible. Mm -hmm. I know it's over here. We'll drop down. And we'll run and run and run. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so there's our old secret room. And we want to find the other one, but we have to be able to see it. So we're going up here. Pickaxe out. And again, we're just going straight doesn't matter what direction really you're not going to be able to see what's directly in front of you only what is to the side and behind you so we've hit a little bit we're gonna hit up a tiny bit just to make hopefully a better hole you want to try to kind of get up towards the top turn on your goggles and nope. <laughs> no dice let's keep keep on hitting that wall And again, what you want to do is just try, you're trying to make a hole where your head will be as close to the roof as possible. And when you hit with your pickaxe, it's sort of a random shape. So, you know, it it can take some practice. Like, this one's pretty good. So I aimed down, did a long tunnel, then aimed down, and there we go. So it flips through. There's some more ruins over there. Uh, apparently with, like, a washing machine over there? I've never seen that one before. Uh, oh. And there's our other secret room. Is that or the is new that... one? Or no? Yeah, that, there's, that's there's the, the one. old one yeah. that we went into already. And mm -hmm. then the new one is up there. And there's also one below it. Is there? Oh, there probably is. No, These... no, no. It just turned like we were before. Yeah, there. Oh, yeah, there is one over there. So there's yeah. three secret rooms all within a few hits of each other. Yeah. So um, all you got to do once you've found where it is aim in that direction when you're mining if you're looking in a direction you're mining in that direction so if the camera's facing it doesn't matter what what way your body's facing you're going to mine in the correct direction so keep on hitting hit and fly trying to get within 15 meters you don't have to be completely accurate within 15 meters and that will be enough I think probably pretty close yep there it is purple purple pinkish dot we're now nine meters away we just got to keep hitting in that direction and we're almost there there we go now once you're close abandoned room hey Some, <laughs> yeah well, I gotta, kind of a weird gotta dig my way up to it i came from below it which yeah. is a little bit awkward yeah Maybe with a jetpack if you're a little bit... Yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay, I think I'm close enough. Yep, there we go. 
and as you can see, it I, I'm certain that this is a different secret room, but totally doesn't feel like it. Mm. I don't know if they're going to add in more and better secret rooms, but I given that so. yeah, people were talking about how like rare these are, they're not they're not rare at all. They're not hard to find. Um, they don't give you any good rewards, so they're not even worth finding. Even if they were rare, they're just crap. That was it. All that all that digging, and we got a damn stuffed bear for it. So, <laughs> woohoo! This this weird slimy things seem to really love stuffed bears and the pink couch. <laughs> yeah, I think reason. they live on the pink couches because we find dozens of those down in the mines every day. Yeah. Yep. Okay, and enough then, of that. Yeah, so start you back up here. You can just leave. We're down to 50 stamina, so we're done in there anyway. It's, it's kind of annoying, but you have to pay for the mines like every week. Yeah, and it's, it's so hard. Like Once you pay for it, it's so hard to force yourself down there every day that week to make it really worthwhile. So I usually I don't go in the mines or the the abandoned ruins unless I absolutely need something like iron ore or magnesium ore any of those otherwise I would much rather just run around and hit rocks yeah Cause rocks rocks are all over here like this there's some that grow along this wall and they respawn every few days there's the one in the island and, yep and then the starlight island has some some rocks next to the spooky cave so it's like this stuff is not not rare or hard to find usually there's just a few really annoying things that have to come from those mines and if you're down there might as well find some secret rooms maybe something cool will happen someday but i think that they're they're not really done fleshing those out yet because they are not worthwhile at all yeah it, for my money i'd say getting your materials from these rocks is much faster and better because you can also get wood and, and spines, spines from the sea urchins <laughs> yep so um, I think that was everything we wanted to cover right well, maybe I'm pretty I don't sure know, there's so many things in this game but it's there is a lot to... but I mean those were some of the things that people seem people online seem to be having a lot of issues with dating ginger which is legitimately difficult and finding secret rooms which is not at all difficult mm -hmm. if you don't want to glitch then don't that's your choice you can you can go down to those mines every day and dig to your heart's content and maybe you'll find a secret room someday best of luck to you but for us for now i think i think we're good and we're gonna pet pinky yep. and give us some yep. fish here you go, Pinky. Oh, pets. Pet we can we can pet Pinky five times because of our social skills. It's okay. tedious, but it gives you five relationship points <laughs> with the cat that don't amount to anything at this point. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, who knows? <laughs> Maybe someday. I don't think I'm carrying fish on me. Sorry, Pinky. All right. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Hope this helps. Mm-hmm. Bye. 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 B -b Bubbies. Mm -hmm.